Good morning everyone, this is Sajin with you from the Doc Training web series. Uh, today I'll be demonstrating a very interesting feature where you'll be able to use Adobe Sign integration with SharePoint. Um, so I just want to check with you guys, is like, have you made the move to your signatures? Especially for the real estate organizations where I see that they need to get their sales agreements or quotations signed and you know it's, it's gonna take a lot of time you know using your ink signatures to run your business and you know you just have to download the documents get it signed scan the copy put it back on your folders and then share it it's gonna take a lot a lot of time right so I think it's the right time to move into e-signatures which is even legally accepted and uh, using a solution like Adobe sign is gonna change your lives and it's, it's the world's top e-sign solution and what I'm going to do is I'm going to demonstrate this feature right in front of you. So no matter the size of your organization, you can use it to prepare, send, track and manage your contracts or forms or agreements. What more, right? And anyone can sign in return from any device and you can have it up and running in minutes. That's it, right? And it's got integration with top solutions like now SharePoint, we have Salesforce, this lot of solutions it's, it's it's integrated with you can also access this from the mobile devices as well so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna demonstrate this feature which is actually a game changer for your business so let's go ahead and see so let's say this is my sales portal right now this is a solution called doc which is a um, turnkey internet portal for your business where you have department portals like sales, accounting and finance, human resources, IT training and marketing portals. So this is a sales report area for the sales reps to basically you know, work on, right? Now, let me take up an example. Now I have a file called doc features. Now let's say um, one of our sales reps right from doc, they have a list of features, right? Now, what I need to do is I need to share with my team or my manager for an approval. So what do I do? So the first thing is that I need to get a signature or basically I need to get an approval from my manager. And what I need to do is I just select this file and on my top navigation, I see an add-on called Adobe Sign, right? And that's how I start working on it. now. To have this add-on installed on your SharePoint online environment, it's nothing but you just have to go and click on the settings menu, click on add an app, you get to this page, just search for Adobe Sign and search for it and then you can click and go to the SharePoint store. You can. You can find the Adobe Sign for SharePoint Online. You just have to click and install and that's it. As simple as that. All right, so going back to our folder now, yeah. So let's, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna share this file to my manager for an approval. So I select on this file, I click on Adobe Sign. I have a couple of options here, right? I can click on Send for Signature. what happens is the next is even more interesting, right? It goes to another page. Yeah, basically an Adobe sign page where you need to enter those details of your manager. I mean, specifically the email address to be precise. You have to add those and then it's just going on there. I see, so this is the screen that you get. So you need to add the recipient email. So, Let's say my manager's name is Adele Vance and here you go. I select the name. I mean, you just have to type in there and then you get the email address. And then if I want, I can set up an authentication with the password or, you know, whatever I can. It's gonna go as an email. I can also, and by the way, I'll also receive a copy, you know, just, just for the record. And then I can type my message. Hi, 
finally review the features list and approve. Right. There you go. And then I have my file here. And also I can have it as a password protect or I can also set up a reminder, you know, following up with this document. So what I'm gonna do next, I'm gonna hit the send button. And then I get a good another page where I have a preview of my file, the first page of my file. And it says, yeah, this doc features list has been successfully sent for signature. A copy has been sent to you, right? And it is sent to Dale. As soon as the agreement is complete, all eligible parties will be emailed with the PDF copies, right? And now the next thing is more interesting. Now if the document is you sent has not been viewed by July 15 at 1 or 2 a.m. And the document you sent has not been signed by July 15 on 5 or 2 p.m. So this, this is what I get an automated alert for this as well. So I'm just gonna wait for it now. Just going back to my mail. Now let's say this is Adele, right? Now Adele has received an email saying that, that I have sent the doc features list to sign. So this is the message that comes in here and then I have a link for me to click. Now, let's say now you want to delegate this document to an authorized party for signature. You need to click on this link instead of forwarding to someone, it's not gonna work at all. So you need to click here to delegate it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click to review the document. Right, so I get my message, right? And what's the next thing I need to do? I go and review the features list. And here on the bottom of my page, I have an area where I can put my signature. I have my email address. Now, I can simply type my name. Or I can even draw it especially when you're using Surface or an iPad, this is gonna come in handy. There you go. Also, if I want, I can put up an image. Now I can also send this to my mobile device via text message, and then I can do it from my mobile device. For now, I'm just gonna type it over here. You can just click on apply. There you go. So I have my signature here and then I get uh, another notification saying click to sign. I also have a disclaimer here. I agree to the terms and use and consume disclosure of this document. Just click on click to sign. All right, now I have signed the document and the copies will be emailed to both me and Adele, right? I can also straight away, I can download a copy from here for myself. And this is my email address. That's my email that's come up here. Okay, it's signed and filed. This is, this is the message that I get. And both the users get a copy of it. That's a document. So that's the document, yes. And now I'm just gonna click on it. There you go. So I have the signature over here, have my email address. Also, I have an extra page that's come up over here, which actually gives a complete signed document history. It's created on July 14 by me and its status is signed and the transaction ID is auto-generated as well. There's a preview of the document and also there's a doc features list history. So it actually captures the entire details of the document. You have document created by this user, the document has been emailed to Adele Vance and then viewed by Adele and then she has doc signed the document and the signed document is emailed to both me and Adele Vance. So I also have the time mentioned over here. So it keeps track of my entire document, right? 
that's it so that's all I wanted to showcase for today's video um, so that's it great so thank you so much for watching this video and I hope you're gonna make use of this feature please know that Adobe sign feature is uh, it's actually a 30 day uh, you know you, it's free to try for 30 days and then you'll have to start paying for it but definitely this is a wonderful feature that you can really try it out and we do recommend our customers to follow uh, Adobe sign thank you for watching this video and I'll be coming up with more and more videos so stay tuned have a great day